This is a video response for Dean Morosky, not Emo Rosky this time, Dean Morosky. <laughs> I know I just made one for him playing around. But um, I'll start by addressing my subscribers, who you guys do not know that Dean Morosky, that's Derek, his, he recently lost his brother. His brother committed suicide. And um, Derek submitted a video to a Little Loca contest. I believe it was uh, Who Inspires You or What Inspires You or something. Anyway, he... Oops, sorry, bumped the camera, the tripod. Um, he said that he, he was, his brother had inspired him, that he really respected his brother and looked up to him, and now his brother is gone. So, anyway, he won this contest that Little Loca held. And it, it actually is helping him. You know, everybody grieves in different ways. And by making the video and, and putting it out there, it was his way of um, letting people know and um, going through his process. That process is different for everyone. In the meantime, of course, we had the typical haters actually got on his comments on that particular video and accused him of lying about his brother committed suicide. Unbelievable. Anyway, Derek, you absolutely do not need to defend yourself. You didn't need to then. I mean, Derek even posted links to the obituary that had been posted in the local newspaper. <coughs> Excuse me. And he's been doing some other videos lately. He's been doing this little, this little emo series. So someone else jumped on him about it was inappropriate considering that he had just lost his brother. You know what? Everybody grieves in different ways. What, Derek, whatever you need to do to work through this process, which is not going to be quick, um, you do it. It's nobody else's business how you deal with your pain. And... Derek, you said that you wanted to start going back to church. Yay! <laughs> I'm glad that you want to go back to church. My daughter goes to church with or without us. He said you, as soon as you got your car, you were going to go with or without your family. Um, and yeah, Brittany does that. If, if I'm working or if I'm sick or, or if, if Mark's working or sick or, or whatever, if we're both working or sick, she goes regardless. And uh, she just loves being there. And um, I just want to tell you, though, God meets you right where you are. Just because you don't have your car right now uh, and you can't go to church right now, uh, I know that you're wanting to go and that's good. Cause, uh, more than likely, God put that desire there. He's letting he, you know that that's what he wants from you and it's good that you're going to honor that. But for now, he's still there. And you said that you pray a lot and, all day and, and that's awesome too. He, he honors that. And um, I just want you to be encouraged. I, I don't want to like be, you know, I am. I don't like to be preachy or anything like that. But um, yes, go to church as soon as you can. But in the meantime, he's there. And um, I would recommend. I know a lot of people don't like to read the Bible because they say they don't get it. And, and I and I get that that you don't get it. I was born and raised in church, so it's easy for me to say I get it. But, just a tip, you might want to read the book of Psalms, because it's just simple Psalms or Proverbs. But Psalms is really good for just getting your, your it changes your focus. It gets you focused on Christ instead of on the problems and the things that are going on in your life. I have, on my desk, I found these at the family Christian store. They're little cards with scriptures and quotes on them. And I've got the 23rd Psalm posted right on my computer tower, right here, so that when I am having a bad day or, or whatever, it's there all the time. And um, so you can do some of those, or I have some that I found scriptures that I like, and I type them out and print them. I type them up, print them out, and post them on my bathroom mirror, on the refrigerator, whatever scripture really gets grabs your heart and, and makes you feel like that's what you need. It's your pick-me-up. Use it until it doesn't work anymore because after a while it just becomes rote if you're saying the same thing over and over and over again and you need something new in the Bible. Full of plenty of stuff. There's an online Bible 
at BibleGateway.com. You can actually search by topic or by specific words, and it will tell you all the scriptures where that word is found or where that topic is found, so it's really cool. So, anyway, I don't want to be too long-winded with this. Just be encouraged. And my subscribers, go tell Derek he rocks. <laughs> okay? Bye.